unlike in the other films where it was really left to Assad to uh, be the one to clean up after Carl and all, also always being Carl's assistant. They were not equal in terms of their stature. Here, it's really Assad running the show. It's Assad who's challenging Carl's um, nihilist belief or nihilist uh, approach to life. You know, it's Assad who brings him out of his uh, misery and puts him back on the horse and says, let's go to work, you know. It's Assad who is very much the acting. Uh, and in before in their relationship, I think if, if you look at them as a couple, you know, Assad re was representing the feminine uh, uh, qualities in their relationship. Well, now it's it's very much reversed, you know. And it's also Assad who ultimately has to uh, to to challenge the, the the bad guy, you know. I did quite a lot of research. I did. Uh, there are not a lot of ex, uh, you know deeply religious sects in Denmark. There's one or two, but obviously they are elsewhere in the world, and including in Norway, there's some. I think it's unique Norwegian export to Denmark, actually, in the, historically speaking, you know, deeply religious uh, uh, free churches on the west coast of Norway. So uh, I, uh, I I looked at some of, of these. Then I looked uh, also at uh, some of the more modern uh, sects uh, and, and did a lot of research into this, like te television and evangelists in, in the States, and some of them who are really predatory and bad people, to be honest, you know. But uh, I also uh, did... Uh, uh, I wanted the, the couple who are in the story to be not just freaks with an extreme view. I wanted them to be people that you say, oh, you know, they are attractive, they are kind human beings, they have a little bit different uh, way of life than me, but, you know, they look quite normal otherwise, you know. To challenge a little bit of the prejudice that we have against people who are, uh, at least in, in Scandinavia, we have against uh, re religious people. We like to be agnostic and too cool for for God, you know, so so uh, I wanted the audience to be massaged into thinking that perhaps it's not so extreme as it's uh, thought out to be, you know.